Our local version of the Occupy movement is trying to focus on what we want to accomplish and not just to launch grievances against the rich, though many do feel disenfranchised and marginalized in this corporate version of the American dream. Our main goal for now is to get people talking and involved in community matters. We are trying not to put a liberal or conservative slant on issues because we want everyone to come talk to us, but we don't speak for all groups, and I certainly don't speak for everyone in my group. I am glad it is getting people thinking about what they can do to improve the situation. Thanks for sharing your opinions. The more real people start to talk, the sooner we can all figure out the best course of action. The people of Iowa marched because they don't have a voice, even as the first state to have a primary. The media twists the issues, and people don't talk together as communities. Those of you who oppose the 99%, have you even tried to listen? Not every protester is going to make complete sense. But the collective effort of getting the government's attention is what we seek. Our demonstration was completely peaceful and in cooperation with local authorities, which was frowned upon by some. You just can't win with everyone. We tried to address that specific issue. Everyone is trying to divide us, label us, and dismiss us before even listening to us. We tried to come up with a few major points we could all agree upon. Here is that initial list. Ending the military-industrial complex. Ending wars, bringing troops home, ending occupations in foreign countries. Ending corporatism, getting money out of politics and government. An overhaul of social issues, and some would say programs, but we are not all completely together on what should be done. But we are focusing on education, health care, housing, those, thir- those sorts of things to get the economy back and to get people, you know, living productive lives. Another area we focus on is jobs and infrastructure, which goes right along with environmental responsibility and our sustainability. Now, I took photos and participated in the Solidarity Committee. Yes, that's right. Our protest was run like a committee meeting, point of orders and all. We need to have civilized discourse. And our compartmentalized worlds just don't allow for that to naturally happen. So we are occupying public spaces to share our thoughts. And at least we are doing something and not just complaining. We are trying to come to a consensus however long it takes, so we can tell our politicians what we actually want. But in order for that to work, those politicians cannot be swayed by corporate powers. The invisible hand of big business has its fingers in all of our affairs, from war to healthcare to education, everything. Please check out all of my posts so far and continue to follow me, and we will act in solidarity with the original Occupy Wall Street movement and all the movements that are springing up around the world and country. Solidarity is the integration and degree and type of integration shown by a society or group of people and their neighbors. It refers to the ties in a society, social relations that bind people to one another. The term is generally employed in sociology and the other social sciences. And that was from Wikipedia. At one time, this nation embraced activism and protest. At least they shot tons of archival footage of Americans, women, men, black, white, of all ages, sitting in, walking out, protesting, or forming a union strike. Somewhere in that history, those people stopped believing in democracy or the power of the people, and simply became jobless, lazy, uninformed lackeys of whichever political party the media chose to demonize in that particular election cycle. There is simply no excuse for the hate I saw previous to the protesters arriving in the park. 
And already there's been issues with them wanting us to leave. And I just really, all my thoughts go out to the people that are there standing and holding the signs and camping for the long periods of time just to get attention, just to start this movement. This is not an answer. This was from the Occupy Cedar Falls post on the front page of KWWL a day or so ago. Similar demonstrations have turned violent in the last few weeks, including dozens of arrests over the weekend in Des Moines. And now, people are expecting us to be angry and lashing out at authorities, and yet our movement has coincided with what they want and yet they're still trying to get us to go and a lot of people are just laughing us off and being downright disrespectful to the fact that we have ideas and are actually trying to come together and just are just telling us that we're doing nothing well doing nothing is what you're doing we're turning up and doing something I don't see how disturbing or threatening it can be for a group of people to camp out across from the cop shop. We're following the ground rules and we're learning from the mistakes, if you want to call them mistakes, of other protest groups. I really feel sorry for those activists that were arrested in Des Moines and I recently took a tour of that place and just find it absolutely horrible that regular citizens aren't allowed to share their concerns with government. Protesters walked from the University of Northern Iowa, the college I graduated from in December 2009, 2.5 miles to Overman Park in downtown Cedar Falls. The Occupy Cedar Valley page has actually had fluctuating numbers of members, generally above 200, and it was stated that over 200 people marched. There were several people when I visited yesterday that were camping out, and we hope that more people will join. There are meetings weekly on Sundays if you're interested, and if you don't live in our area, start something in your own area. Chances are there are already people thinking of doing it if they haven't already done so. Support and apprehension were expressed in our town. Even some misguided and poorly informed hate found its way into comments on news stories and wall posts. But this blogger is prepared. My camera battery is charged, and I'm thinking of what I can do, what I can provide for this movement. I'm trying to cover the story in as many media outlets as possible. I'm blogging about it. I added a I report to CNN. I'm doing this video because I know that at some point you might start to listen to me. You might start to listen to your neighbor. People in the town I was born in are starting to wake up. Tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, who knows? We could all come together just to see what can be done with this corrupt system we've inherited. My hope is that through my words and snapshots, I can express these frustrations and fears. But it starts just like this, a few towns transforming into strong communities. And we can do that. We can take care of one another and let our collective voice be heard. We're from the Midwest. We know how to take care of ourselves, even with the winter coming. I want to see how long we can camp out in Cedar Falls. If you want to join us or donate your time, money, energy, in any way you feel able or comfortable, do the right thing and ask your neighbor. Go to our pages. See how you can help. We don't need people calling us lazy. We will reconstruct a country that we can be proud to live in, as long as we all agree to listen and to not let them divide and conquer us. We are better than that. Cedar Falls joins the rest of Iowa, the nation, and the world in this great movement of the masses toward a system of government that does not include corporations 
or the Federal Reserve. The privatization of money and jails has done nothing for this country but turn us into a land of debtors and criminals. Defend capitalism all you like, but you can never put a price on freedom, not once you've given it away for the sake of false protection and security. Please continue to follow my journey. I will be going near the park on almost a daily basis anyway, and I plan on helping when I can. Leave your comments. I'm very interested in your take on the Occupy Wall Street movement as a whole and what's happening where you live.